Hi everybody, it's me Maddie, and welcome back to another vlog on my YouTube channel. How are y'all doing? It's been a little bit, not that long, but a little bit, uh, since we updated y'all in this series. Basically, uh, I'm back for part two of Act Two of Sophie and I's novel writing journey. Um, yes, I got chapter whatever chapter I'm on. Where's the thing? Okay, that's it. I forgot the name of our book. Uh, anyway, so I got this back like Saturday, and I was supposed to read it on Sunday, and then I didn't. And I was supposed to read it yesterday, but I didn't. Uh, so, yeah, we are currently on chapter... Well, I'm going to write chapter 13. I haven't been in the story for a long time, so I don't know how I'm going to feel jumping back into it. Uh, but I know we hit 20k. Let's see, word count... 21,033 words. Whoop, whoop. Sophie texted me and told me that we had it done that. So, I need to read over her comments on my chapter. Comment and read her chapter. And then edit. I want to make another miraculous edit. Anyway, I already see one comment and... Welcome back to the vlogs! We should retitle as Madison proclaiming her love for Sophie for however many minutes because it's literally all I do. What's the difference between Sophie and I? When she comments on my chapters, she's like, Aw, that's so sweet! Or, aw, that's cute! Or she gives, like, suggestions to how it could be changed. Or she says, like, hey, I like that line. Or, uh, like, something like that. When I comment on her chapter, I'll read a line that Trig says, and I'm like, ooh, that's hot. And then I comment, and I'm like, dang, he is one hot son of a gun. I, all my comments are related to how attractive our main characters are. <laughs> Does that say something about me? Hi, everyone. It is the 9th of April. And I just finished reading Sophie and I's chapter. I know I started it like a long time ago, but I just finished today. Why? Because I didn't prioritize it, okay? That's the reason. I didn't, I didn't put it first, okay? I didn't do that. Nor did I put my Camp, Na my camp Nano project first, okay? I didn't do that either. Um, but I just finished reading her chapter, and my god, Sophie, teach me your ways. Because like that was like so well written, and now I feel like... I can't write it all. Uh, but this is chapter 13. <laughs> this, I just, I, Sophie, I love you. Yes, I do. So, here I was, 10 o'clock at night, <laughs> doing my fitness lessons for school. This is my fitness lesson, guys. It's just reading. I'm so tired. Anyway, anyway, I was just doing that, and then I got the sudden urge to finally start my chapter for Sophie and I, so that's what I did. I started writing it by hand, um, and the words, they just flowed, and so now I'm like super excited, though I do think Sophie and I need to have a phone call and like this fix this because chapter 12 I think is what she just read I was supposed to write 13 I don't know maybe we were on the right spot she said to me how it wasn't right I don't know never mind we might not have to do as much as I thought we did but dang it this is chapter 13 and there's only 19 chapters and there's one two chapters two more chapters by myself and two chapters with Sophie that we get to write Oh my god, guys. This is coming to an end so quick. So, I started writing chapter 13, and I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't hate the way it turns out, but it's reminding me a lot of how I'm supposed to be writing my nano novel. It's got that... It's that type of writing style, and that writing style was very different to how I originally wrote this, so I don't really know how this is going to go, 
Plus, I kind of had to figure out how I wanted to do this because I did read over what I was supposed to do, and it was, it's been changed completely just because of how it flowed better for Sophie. It flowed better for the story that way, so we had to change it. And plus, it kind of makes like this whole thing a whole lot better in my opinion. Um, but because of that, I have to try and figure out how the heck I'm going to stuff this chapter. Like, what am I going to put in this chapter? Because, like, realistically, there's not that much in it except for the kiss, which I, I cannot wait to write the kiss. Hi, everyone. It is the 17th of April, and after I work out today, I'm going to be finishing my chapter with Sophie. I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to work on it, and I'm going to complete it. I've already written 100, no, 1,200 words, a little, like, 1, 2, 8, 0, I think is actually the number. So I've written a thousand words today, but now I just need to finish my chapter so I can send it off to Sophie, and it can be her problem to find the want to work on it. Um, it's not that I don't want to work on it. Okay, if I wanted to work on it, I would work on it. So I'm not going to lie to you. I just don't have the motivation to work on it right now. That's all it is. Um, I mean, I get to write a kiss scene, so I'm, I should be excited for that. But I don't really know if I am, because I'm trying to figure out what the heck I can do to make it over 500 words. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I just finished schoolwork. I'm going to work out a little, probably around 8.30. No, no, fine, fine. I'll work on the chapter before I work out. <laughs> but I think, I, I think I'll watch Forbes Labs, Forbes Labs' newest video and finish that up because i got like 20 minutes left in it where he lives in a 100 days in a uh, parasitic world. So I think I will watch that before I work on the chapter because <laughs> procrastination! So, one of the things I like about this chapter so far is, first of all, I don't think it's actually written that bad. Uh, God, knock on wood. Uh, this isn't even a wood desk, I don't think, so that didn't work. Anyway, one of the things I like about this chapter is how smart I'm making Sinclair sound. Because this entire book, so far, I feel like Sinclair has been shown to be the idiot. Uh, he's, he's a, uh, prissy? Prince? Is that the correct word? I don't know. God, I write and I don't even know what pris means. Well, I don't know what prissy means. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, uh, okay, moving on. But, like, this entire book, I feel like he's been shown just to be, like, a spoiled prince who doesn't really have much going for him as his parents were murdered, and he... Seems he forgot to even care about his dead parents. We have to fix that. So I feel like this entire book, he just hasn't really had any defining characteristics. And that is something that I think we can relate back to at the beginning of the book when I first wrote his first chapter. And I realized that we never wrote Sinclair's character. And like, Sinclair is a prince. He grew up with the best tutors on the islands. So... He should know how to, he's like, he's a smart guy, you know? And so the fact that he didn't even have a personality and we're making it up as we go, it's very inconsistent. And in this chapter so far, it's like 500 words, but I've already made it seem like Sinclair is a very, very skilled, not a thief because that's the other character, but I've made it seem like Sinclair is very good at sneaking around, which I've never even tried to discuss in any of the previous chapters and I've given him a bit of street smarts that a prince wouldn't have and I've related back to his time in the castle with his best friend and I think that that's pretty good because we've already alluded to that the fact that he didn't really like being a prince so it makes sense that he would spend his time rebelling against his father and against his uh title so we just, he didn't have a personality, and it's very inconsistent, and I've just made him seem very smart so far in these 500 words, uh, and I, yeah, I mean, he's freaking, <laughs> uh, I just, I was gonna say what I just wrote, but that'd be a little too much information, I believe, so, yeah, I've, uh, we, I, one thing that we really got to sit down and work on is Sinclair's personality. Because where is it? Yeah, that's right. Nowhere to be seen. Or it can be seen here, 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 and here. It's not consistent in the slightest. Well, 
I do like the lead up to the kiss scene. Uh, but Sophie and I are definitely going to need to have a conversation about what the heck we're going to do for the back half of, or the last act of this book. Because I just took a little sentence, took like a little two sentences that were supposed to be in chapter, I think, 18. I took those sentences and I threw in mine because I love that. I love that little, I love those sentences. And I think they added, they led up to... It just works so well. All right, here we go. It's time for somebody who's never kissed anybody to write a kiss scene. I'm really uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, I got headphones in because I'm about to just jam out to some old country music. So anyway, uh, before I do that, I think I'll tell you all how, I think I need to actually upload this video on Monday because I think I just like talked a lot in this freaking video. So I need to like cut it, I need to cut act two into three parts apparently. Um, but I finished this chapter, it's 1,607 words and I wrote how many of those today? I know I wrote a majority of them today. I wrote... 1,268, and you're just 1,268. Uh, add that to my word tracker. So, bing, bang, boom, baby. That's going to be the end of this uh, vlog. I like the way it ended. I need to talk to Sophie about how the rest of this book's going to go. Uh, and, yeah, so next time y'all see me, we're going to finish up act three which we only have in the original outline of the book there's only what uh one two more chapters so like should i not upload this no i'm going to uh anyway so yeah there's only two more chapters which hopefully It'll be a short vlog next time, but probably won't. Uh, and then we're into Act 3, and then we're basically at the end. But I'm really glad of how this chapter turned out. I used the word had so much. Uh, sorry, Sophie. Apologize. I just crutch. I I didn't I I hopped with my crutch this entire chapter. But I like the way it ended, and I hope Sophie. I hope you enjoy writing the fight scene. I liked the kiss scene, but it made me a little uncomfortable. And I am so excited for, to read Sophie's fight scene. She says she can't write fight scenes. So, good luck, Sophie. But I'm still excited to read it. And plus, I can always try writing my own in later drafts. Or maybe you'll get better at them. I don't know. I wrote a book in Nano about assassins. I'm kind of good, I would say, in my personal opinion, at writing fight scenes. <laughs> I say that having written one book about murder, so I don't know. I I just like I just like that type of stuff. I just like that type of stuff. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go. I love you all so very much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and click that like button down below. I post videos on this channel every single Monday, and so I'll see y'all next Monday for another video. And hey, don't forget I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Sophie's link to the channel, and I'll see y'all next month. See y'all next month. I said that. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> don't forget I'm still a freaking bulldozer.